An interesting question was sent to us recently. Dear TACMAN, somebody in the lab told me that PCR has different phases and that I need to worry about these now that I'm doing real-time PCR and not just gel-based PCR. Please tell me they were lying. Dear sir, I wish I could. PCR does in fact have phases, but it's normally difficult to see these in action. That said, once we do real-time PCR, we can easily visualize its phases. Fortunately, real-time is where these matter the most. When we first start our reactions, there's a molar excess of all the reagents needed for amplification. As a result, we typically get a nice doubling of product with each cycle. In an amplification plot set to log scale, we see that exponential increase as a straight line. This phase is known variously as the geometric, log, or exponential phase. Unfortunately, this doubling doesn't go on forever. At some point, the reagents in the tube, primers, DNTPs, and so on, start to run low. As a result, the reaction slows down. We call this the linear phase. Finally, after some point, assuming the plate is run for enough cycles, the reactions run out of some critical ingredient. And as a result, they come to a halt. We call this the plateau phase. So why do we care? It's because only one phase yields high quality quantitative data. Namely, you guessed it, the geometric phase. Now to see why, let's take a look at an example file. In this run, we took a highly concentrated sample and serially diluted it in tenfold increments over seven logs. We also ran eight technical replicates for each dilution point. What I want you to notice is this. In the geometric phase, which is approximately the area inside this box, all of the dilutions are very evenly spaced, exactly as we would expect. Also, the pipetting replicates are very tight, meaning we have excellent precision. But as the reactions move into the later cycles, the so-called linear phase, that predictability starts to go away. Our nice straight lines begin to curve, totally messing up the even spacing. And the precision drops off considerably. Finally, in the latest cycles, also known as the plateau, the data all merge together. Yeesh. The point is, we always want to look at our data in the geometric phase, since this is where we'll get the best results, especially for a quantitative reaction. Now, how do we do that? Well, by making sure that that's where the threshold is set. And if you want to know more about thresholds, please watch our other Ask TACMAN video on setting these properly. Do you have real-time PCR questions? Just ask TACMAN. Give us your questions on Facebook, Twitter, or at lifetechnologies.com forward slash ask TACMAN. We might just make a video out of it. Thank you.